हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस अबाउट द मेन सोर्सेस रिलेटेड टू एयर पोल्यूशन नाउ वी विल टॉक अबाउट व्हाट आर द हार्मफुल इफेक्ट्स रिलेटेड टू एयर पोल्यूशन फर्स्ट हार्मफुल इफेक्ट ऑन ह्यूमन बीइंग्स whenever we talk about the air pollutants in previous class we discussed that uh, air pollutants can be divided into two types primary air pollutants as well as secondary air pollutants so some main air pollutants are uh, sulfur dioxide carbon monoxide nitrogen dioxide carbon dioxide uh, ozone peroxyacetyl nitrate so all these are some air pollutants which can cause harmful effect on human beings for example whenever we talk about carbon monoxide so when we uh, inhale in excess uh, the carbon monoxide gas so sometimes uh, whenever we excess uh, and inhale it in the excess amount so it combined with the hemoglobin into our blood and make carboxy hemoglobin due to the presence of carboxy hemoglobin there is the deficiency of oxygen occur into our body due to this suffocation occur and at it can be lead to the death of the human being so carbon monoxide it is the poisonous gas it is colorless and odorless gas but as well as it make carboxy hemoglobin whenever oxygen uh, enters into the blood it makes oxy hemoglobin but whenever there is the excess amount of carbon monoxide if we inhale it it form carboxy hemoglobin due to this there is a deficiency of oxygen occur and due to the deficiency of oxygen a person may die then due to the presence of nitrogen oxides and oxides of sulfur some uh, lung can uh, lung can cause as well as uh, respiratory problems can cause due to the fumes uh, origin uh, we can say that sometimes eye irritation occur nose irritation occur due to the lead oxide mental retardation mental disorders occur so all these are some problems which occur into the human health due to the air pollutants which cause air pollution so second we can say into the plant productivity whenever we talk about uh, plants so due to the high amount of air pollutants the the rate of photosynthesis will decrease then plant productivity will decrease as well as soil fertility also decrease due to the air pollutants they present into the soil then whenever there is a high spray of some chemical fertilizers as well as pesticides into the any field it can change the ph of soil so all these are some harmful effects as well as sometimes chlorosis disease occur into the leaves of some plant in which the color of the leaf changes from the green to yellow because there is low chlorophyll content occur due to the high pollutants and this disease is called as the chlorosis sometimes necrosis occur necrosis means whenever some spots occur you see some spots these spots occur sometime due to the high amount of pollutants in that particular area there are some holes present into the leaves these this disease is called as the necrosis so all these type of problems occur into the plant productivity then third point we can say that due to the high amount of air pollution acid rain cause due to the high amount of uh, air pollution acid rain cause because acid rain means whenever there is excess amount of acid is present into the rain that is called as acid rain and the main gases which, which are responsible for acid rain are nitrogen dioxide as well as sulfur dioxide two gases are responsible due to the presence of uh, no2 and so2 into our atmosphere because uh, whenever there is 
rain occur but in our atmosphere we know due to the air pollution some harmful gases are released into the atmosphere like so2 and no2 so this water molecules combines with the sulfur dioxide these water molecule combine with the nitrogen dioxide and they form h2so4 as well as hno3 and these acids come to the earth as the acid so this is called as the acid rain so main acids which are responsible for acid rain are sulfuric acid as well as nitric acid and the gases which are responsible for acid rain are so2 as well as no2 so due to acid rain some disease on stone occur which is called as the stone cancer okay the yellow color occur into the white marbles the white marble changes into the yellow color that is called as the stone cancer and uh, sometimes uh, we can say ki uh, corrosion occur into the some metallic bodies so all these occur due to the acid rain now due to the air pollution it can cause global warming whenever there is the average temperature of global warming whenever average temperature of earth whenever increase it is called as the global warming due to the global warming uh the sea level will be increases the temperature of the earth will be increases so all these occur due to the uh, some uh, green house gases like carbon dioxide and methane so due to these gases the average temperature of earth is increases then the next effect uh, related to air pollution that it can destroy the ozone layer ozone is a uh, ozone mainly it is a gas o3 its composition so ozone gas mainly present into the stratosphere and due to some gases like chlorofluorocarbon which is mainly present into the air conditioners as well as in refrigerator due to cfc it destroys the ozone layer because and it is called as the ozone hole the uh, amount of the ozone gas is uh, reduced in ozone layer that is called as the dis destruction of the ozone gas it occur due to the some air pollutants like chlorofluorocarbon so all these are some adverse effect harmful effect which can occur into our environment now what are the prevention or control methods we can use to control the air pollution so now we will talk about what are the control strategies we can use to control the air pollution first we can use that more harmful gases should be changes into less harmful gases some physical and chemical methods should be used to convert the more harmful gases into less harmful gases some absorption method adsorption method scrubber method are used to control the more harmful gases convert the more harmful gases into less harmful gases second we can say uh plant should be planted plant should be planted because we know that plants are the main absorber of the carbon dioxide so by this we can control the air pollution then third modern automobiles should be used Uh, which by which the less amount of smoke will be released from uh, into the atmosphere then fourth uh, some laws are made by the government to control the air pollution so laws should be strictly followed by the people strictly followed by the people then some international organization and other symposium are conducted to control the air pollution as well as people should be aware about it people should be aware 
about air pollution its causes its impact as well as what control strategy should be we use when uh, then use environmental friendly fuel then we can say so all these are the methods use cng compressed natural gas use uh, recycle the paper so all these are the methods by which we control the air pollution thank you